check on that. I think I feel like it started maybe in the nineties. Okay, uh, so, so not like close enough. Though. Yeah, I think it, I feel like it blew up maybe when we were in college. So okay, it does kind of make sense that but I never really yeah experienced it. But that's the beauty of coming home, right? And, All these new things. Oh man, um, yeah, it's like an institution now. And uh, I don't know, you've been you lived in Texas. Uh, what, were breakfast tacos a big thing in Texas where you were? Because um, when I went, I went when I went down to Austin, yeah, um, they were it huge. was all about breakfast tacos, breakfast tacos, breakfast tacos out of trucks and out of oh. restaurants and stuff. Yeah, I'm, like, what, I'm like, what the hell are breakfast tacos? I don't know. Did you ever find out? Well, I mean, they're <laughs> tacos, tacos for, for breakfast. breakfast. Yeah. So there's no difference. There's no. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like it's um, like. Yeah. But it was, it was no, so weird I... because here, here in Denver. It's breakfast, breakfast burritos, burritos, right? Like that's, that's what I te yeah. When I texted you last night, I was like, I can do a breakfast burrito. Yeah. Um, right. Now breakfast tacos. I I have never had a breakfast taco in Texas. Okay. I mean Austin's a little bit different than Texas. Like if yeah. there's one if there's one city that really doesn't necessarily belong in Texas, it's Austin. Hmm. I mean it does, but yeah. it's to it it belongs there because it's totally Texas, but it totally doesn't belong in Texas. It's well, yeah. Keep Austin weird. Right? Yeah. That exactly. Motto? That's their motto. Exactly. Yeah. But no. Uh, I uh, I never I've never heard of a breakfast taco necessarily or like where it was like an actual thing. Okay. Well, since we're in Denver, um, you know, breakfast burritos I think is a great place to uh, get a little peek inside uh, local local, local food. Mexican local yeah food, yeah which, which is huge here. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's like the number one ethnic food yeah. I, I don't know like people Colorado itself is a Spanish name as we know it means right. the color red the color red yes and uh, you know uh, some people talk trash about Mexican food in Colorado not being real Mexican food like uh, you know people in California say oh it's not Mexican food what you have there right you know there's the whole Tex-Mex genre yeah. and like you know queso right the queso is a big thing right um, they think that's <laughs> a lot of Mexican food, and a lot of Mexican people come up here. Like I've had students who are from Mexico, and they say that's this is a Mexican food. So like, what what I mean, what are we eating here? Like, what is it? Like, yeah, is it... I mean, everyone, every every little whatever has their own interpretation. Like, yeah. Texas thinks they have the best. California thinks they have the best. We think we have the best. New Mexico, New Mexico, they too. have. They actually have great. Uh, yeah, I mean that's where kind of like green chili. Yeah. Like Mexican green chili. And red chili, too, and, uh, right? that kind of originated down there. Um, yeah, just yesterday. And, um... But it went it, to a place that's, like, claimed they were New Mexican, uh, uh, Mexican food. Yeah. In Colorado. And I was impressed. La Casita. La Casita. Where's that? Yeah. It is in the Highlands. Okay. Kind of uh, that new area down of Denver. Yeah, but it's an old restaurant. It's been there since, like, the 70s. Oh, so really? It's like, yeah, it's like, um... Wait, is it red? Like, uh, is it is it a yes, red sign? Yes. La Casita? Uh, and, uh, yeah, I think I've been there. Tamales La Casita? Yeah, I think that it sounds familiar. Maybe, okay. I think my dad and I were, like, driving from something, like, playing golf one day and we saw it. Oh, man. It, is, it was dynamite. Um, we, I, I did a little review. We can post that as well. Nice. Uh, and it was, oh, my God, uh, changed my life. <laughs> um, but today, you know, today is about Santiago's. Cool. And Colorado Mexican. Which, yeah. I mean, and we grew up with it, so, like, going back to that whole, no, I, I mean, Colorado's still one of my favorite Mexican. I, I like California Mexican. It's great. What's the difference? I don't know. It's Is it more like fish tacos? They do have a lot of fish tacos there. And then, I don't, yeah, and I, I can't even explain Tex-Mex. I mean, I can, but... They're all slightly different, but I, I like them all in their own different way. And it's not that food different, directly right? now, it's really not. People make a big deal out of it, but it's really not. Like, yeah. And and I love food directly from Mexico. Yes. I mean, even, tacos you know, al pastor. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cutting the, off the spit. Right. Yeah. Exactly. And like pulling over to the side of the road in the middle of nowhere, and there's like people like cooking up, you know, little tacos, and yeah. it's. I mean, that's some good stuff. I mean, I was in. You know, um, Valle Guadalupe, and it was like midnight uh -huh. in the middle of nowhere. I could, we couldn't find anything. There's tiny, tiny little. I mean, nothing was open. Tiny little town, and we there's 
you know four guys outside of this and we, we just kind of pulled in here and there's this guy these guys just grilling up tacos at midnight and we had just pulled in Ooh. to Valle, Guada, Valle de Guadalupe which is it's about uh two and a half hours south of San Diego okay so it's um, in Baja it's a big wine yeah yeah it's in Baja it's a big wine region so Ooh. we were going down there for wine tasting and everything best tacos ever the guy the you know the guys cooking them were super nice and we were talking mm. with them for a while and at midnight and uh you know a lot of people we were we, when we were going down there they're like oh you should be careful you're driving into mexico and stuff and it's like as long as you're not be careful dumb, not man. to miss the tacos yeah apparently. right <laughs> <laughs> which yeah i would go back there for sure but no cool. I, they're all good and everybody kind of has their own claim especially texas they're like we have the best but um well, and that, I mean, all, talking all about all these destinations, it kind of, you know, opens the mind to possibilities, right? Where I know where could we go and, and try tacos? Because, you know, going back to Austin, you know, if you're, you've had torchies, right? Did, did we have torchies together? We did. We yeah, actually here did Denver. here in Denver. That was the first time I had ever had torchies. Yeah. Um, and they have torchies. They have torchies in Houston, too. Ah, uh, okay. So yeah. I've had it down there as well. So I feel like that's that's got to be like a branch of Tex-Mex, uh, right? Like the, I believe it is. Yes, it is. It kind of ha it has that Tex-Mex. You got like bacon and cheese tacos and like, yeah, yeah. you know, like and, creative. Yeah, like additions of whatever. But yeah, no, that's uh, that was good. Um, it's kind of expensive. It, it's a little for, it's a little bit more expensive, right? It's like, uh, like even in Houston, it's, it's kind like of a expensive. corporate not corporate, but like a chain. Chain, version. It's, yeah, it's definitely a chain, but kinda. still damn good. Um, like I don't know. There's apparently there's another there's another one in Denver now. Oh really? Um, yeah. So I don't know. But today about Santiago's like back like Santiago's is all about the breakfast burrito, handheld breakfast burrito. I think it's like it goes about two dollars. And um, they so, have like a rotating. Are they tiny? Like you get like a couple of them? And, like, or, I don't know. For it's, it's two like, bucks, it seems cheap. Two, like two is, it depends on your appetite, right? I think like so on some days I can eat two and be like, okay, that's great. Like I'm like pretty full off of two two tacos or two, two burritos. Um, but other days it's oh. like all you need is one. Like, so it's like kind of, you know, it depends. But um, the way it works is like there's a rotating menu throughout the week. I think depending on the on the the outlet, like there's there's probably I don't know how many are ten maybe. Yeah. And uh, so what? Some days it's bacon, some days it's uh, sausage, other days it might be chorizo, um, and uh, and so you know you have eggs and potatoes on top of that, and then you Jeez. and then you can order it three ways. You can get mild, uh, hot, or half and half. Ooh. And I like to go half and half. Oh, half and half sounds good. Yeah, because the hot might catch up with you yeah. later. Oh yeah. And the, <laughs> the mild, the mild just is probably just probably might not be enough. Yeah, you just don't get the kick. Yeah. Right. So, um, I believe we are going to the original one. I have to do some research on that, but I believe we're going to the original one on South Broadway. Okay. Um, which technically is in Inglewood, but you know it's yeah. I was Denver. looking it up when you said it, and I was like. Yeah, I mean, Inglewood, yeah. you can see Denver straight down it's Broadway. It's right there, yeah. And uh, I'm kind of excited because I, 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 I'm glad, I'm happy to take you there for the first time. I know, right? Like and and I've, I've heard of it. I'm, I I had other, heard of other people talking about it, even recently, actually. Um, I feel like my dad was talking about it with someone. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's. I think if you've spent enough time in Denver in the last five, ten years, easily longer... Um, Santiago's is on your radar. Yeah. Um, so. Uh, but yeah, this could be a cool, a little thing. You know, we just we any we try to we try some tacos anywhere we go. Yeah. You know where else tacos. we have tacos? Um, where did we have tacos? We have tacos. Different. We had oh, the broccoli taco. The broccoli about, taco. Talking about the broccoli <laughs> taco. Yeah, that's true. In yeah. New York, the broccoli taco. So. Yeah, maybe we maybe we just make this out of like uh, Mexican food around the world. That'd be cool. Although you know there are a few places that we you don't want Mexican. No, but you know what? The the you know, one of the craziest places I had like amazing Mexican food, maybe the best tacos I've ever had, Copenhagen. Oh wow! Yeah. You know I could see that though. Copenhagen, they they're very they have a lot of good food. Yes. They are. They had. A, I, I didn't have looking, tacos. I didn't try Mexican there, but uh, they have. A, they had a lot of like rounded, well-rounded food. Totally. From outside of just you know that region yeah and maybe it's because you know that that region of food is very fish based and kind of bread based i mean they have great like bakeries and stuff like that yeah and, like, well but, like the 
there's so many places out there that have such good bread and yeah like that's their strong point but then they can fill in like all the other stuff all the, <laughs> with whatever. like export or imports from other countries yeah. but yeah Ija de, San, Ija de Sanchez Ija de Sanchez was the name of the place and in Copenhagen in Copenhagen wow. and I believe the chef used to work at the best restaurant in the world which is which is in Copenhagen at the time um, and she ended up going off and making her own doing her own thing yeah. and oh my god like, I, like of all the tacos I've had in in, in Colorado and California and Ma even in Mexico these were right up there wow, like, really? amazing amazing and, but of course in Copenhagen they're like you know five times the price you would pay yeah, well like you anything know. there but it was yeah exactly but it was totally worth every krona every little every krona yeah, yeah I think the, that's Yeah, yeah, we're about to turn onto Broadway. Okay. And uh, Broadway. We're, Broadway. <laughs> there it is. There she is. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, we'll be we'll be coming up on Santiago's here quick. So, you, are you hungry? Um, I'm getting there. I'm preparing myself. You yeah. know, I don't. Should we do a jog around the block to, to like get the <laughs> fire started? You know, actually, I tried to wake up earlier. I set my alarm to wake up at seven so I could run. Oh, okay. And um, just so I could. You know, get a workout in and maybe make some room. Yeah, but I didn't. Okay, I, I, I lied in bed for. Well, yeah, it was. We the car needs to be washed. We could wash the car. <laughs> if you need, no, I'm you good. Know, like yeah. it's not gonna. Because I, I, I don't usually of, eat I'm, breakfast to be honest, or right. at least like this early. Like even if I wake up at seven or six or whatever, I don't eat till like eleven or twelve. Same. So, Same. Um, so I'm in the so same boat. It's kind of like yeah. yeah, maybe like reset the uh, eating clock. Yeah, a exactly. Little bit. Um, so I'm okay with it. Um, all right, so I'm excited. Let's do this. Oh yeah, good shot. Of, oh, you can't, it's hard to see on here. Yeah, it's really wide, but it can be edited. good for us. Bad for far. Yeah. Yeah. My guy's in a hurry. <laughs> but uh, I was trying to show downtown. Straight shot in. Yeah, I think we'll be able to get a shot up there. We'll get there. <laughs> Chilly. 